Hi, my name is Ralph and uh, today we are going to install OpenPlotter version 4 onto a Raspberry Pi 5. So, what do we need to make this installation? We need, of course, the uh, Raspberry Pi. We need a screen. Well, if you want to keep it on board, 10 inches is good. Otherwise, for the installation, you can use your TV or whatever. You need a keyboard, you need a mouse, you need a power supply, um, anything USB-C, so uh, uh, a power supply for your mobile phone or something like that should do the, the trick. You need a micro SD card, a 32 gig, and uh, that's it for the start. But uh, we can also have some optional hardware, uh, which I recommend. Uh, so a box and a cooler for your Raspberry Pi. This is kind of box and a cooler. It's getting hot when it's working, so a cooler is a good idea. If you want to use an external SSD drive, uh, you can use a, or the USB port or you can use a shield. A shield is something that is going on top of the Raspberry Pi. So that's the kind of shield uh, it's, which is uh, plugging on top of the Raspberry Pi where you can plug in an SSD drive. If you go in that way, you will need the SSD drive, something like that, uh, one tera or 500 gig. Yeah. 500 gig is more than enough to store the charts. Uh, on board of your, uh, you will also need a power supply because um, on board you have 12 volts or, 12, or 24 volts. So you will need a power supply to convert the 12 volts onto the 5 volts. And uh, this is it. So that's mainly the, the optional hardware you could need uh, to con con configure completely your onboard computer. So this is how it looks like when it's uh, fully mount. Uh, there is the Raspberry Pi is down there. You have the cooler, you have the shields uh, for the SSD drive and the SSD drive on top of that. So as you can see, it's quite small. If you compare that to the uh, micro SD card adapter, you see that it's a very small computer. Uh, this is in the box. Uh, you see the micro SD card is small and the computer globally is also very small. So what are the steps? So first we will download the OpenPlotter version 4 image. Going, going to that uh, very soon. So then we need a Raspberry Pi imager to be able to flash the SD card. We put the SD card in the Raspberry Pi and then we go for the first boot and make some basic configuration. So let's go for uh, the download of OpenPlotter version 4 image. So uh, we go onto uh, OpenPlotter version 4 website. I will put the link in the description. Uh, in the downloading page, you will find uh, several images for uh, OpenPlotter. The first one is OpenPlotter starting, which we will be using in this video, which is the basic setup. You have another version of OpenPlotter, which is called Headless. Uh, it's uh, when you set up a computer without a screen, so uh, only a command line and a remote uh, connection. You could have a version with which is a for touch screen, touch screen which I don't have, so I'm not using it. There is a new another version called à la carte. Oh, this is easy to say; it's a French one. Uh, so open plotter à la carte, uh, which is not available yet, and there is also a version for a desktop and laptop computers, which I will probably do a video in the future. So for today, we will be uh, downloading the starting version of OpenPlotter. So to download uh, this version, we click on OpenPlotter starting. When we go to the new page and then you select, you don't go into the old version, except if you want one, but uh, we're going to download the latest version. So you just uh, select it and click on the three dot here and click uh, download and you uh, download the OpenPlotter version 4. Um, as you remember, uh, the second step is download the Raspberry Pi uh, 
imager, which we can find on the Raspberry Pi software page. Again, the link will be in the description. So when you are on that page, you just scroll down a little bit and you see here, install Raspberry Pi using Raspberry Pi Imager. You click the download. For me, it's the Windows version. So click on it and go for uh, the download. And once it's downloaded, just install it. And uh, that's the programs we will be uh, using for flashing the micro SD card. So now we are going to flash the micro SD card. Uh, normally, uh, you should have downloaded the Raspberry Pi Imager, install it, and you can now launch it. And you should have a screen, something uh, looking like this. You can put your SD card into your uh, computer. Uh, if you don't have a card reader, you will need a USB external card reader for your computer. But for my, my computer, I have a internal card reader so i put in my uh, sd card now you uh, first thing you have to choose the device for me it's a uh, raspberry pi you could do the same installation on the raspberry pi 4 if you don't have the 5 the 4 still work uh, works with the uh, version 4 of open plotter so for me i select raspberry pi 5 then i need to choose the operating system so open a uh, screen is opening and i'm going down below here you see use custom so you click on it and an open uh, window and then you can select the uh, image you just download so you just click on the open plotter image you have download you click on open and now you have to select where do you want to uh, put that image of course, we are going to flash the micro SD. So click on choose the storage. It opens. So as you can see, there is two, there are two storage. The first one is my SSD drive, so my main disk. So don't select it, otherwise it will be erased. Just select your uh, card. You can see the difference between the two with the uh, the size. Huh? Uh, an SD card of 2 tera this is probably not the case so i can be pretty sure that a 31 gig it's my real sd card then you click on next a new pop-up appears uh, you can uh, um, specify some basic setting before uh, flashing the card don't do it we don't need so far. We will do the setup uh, at the boot time. So would you like to apply operating system customization settings? You just click on no. All data will be erased on uh, the SD card. I show you sure you will continue. You click yes. And then the system is uh, going to flash the SD card. And uh, I'll see you just after the end of that process. That can take some time. Okay, when it's done, just click on continue, remove the SD card, and uh, uh, we will put that into our Raspberry Pi and for make the first boot. Okay, for the first boot, I uh, plugged in a keyboard, a mouse, and a screen. Right, this is the first boot then. Okay, seems to be booting correctly. Uh, says starting open plotter. Uh, we sure will have to configure the network. Uh, okay, it has been uh, the boot is done. It's uh, complete. Okay, I will do uh, some basic setup uh, so I can uh, connect remotely uh, to the Pi Raspberry Pi to be able to continue the, this video. So to do so, uh, we click on the top here on the uh, menu, on the Raspberry. Then you have the menu and then uh, you go to uh, settings. Uh, let's preference and then Raspberry Pi configuration. Click on it and then um, we don't change anything so far except in the interface 
I will enable SSH, VNC, I2C, and serial port. I click on OK. Uh, surely I have to reboot. Do you want to reboot now? Let's click on Yes. And uh, let's do the reboot. OK, reboot is on the way. Uh, so uh, it says, OK, I enable SSH, but uh, I didn't change the PI user password. So uh, that's uh, what I'm going to do. But first of all, as you can see here on the top, I did enable uh, VNC so I can uh, remote connect to the uh, Raspberry Pi. Of course, be before being able to connect to the Raspberry Pi, I have to enable the uh, network. So I click on here uh, and I have to uh, click here to set the Wi-Fi uh, country. So click on it. Uh, the country is not yet set. OK, let's uh, select for my for me, it's going to be Belgium. OK. Uh, where is the Belgium one? Here it is, Belgium. Click on it and click OK. Remove that screen now. OK, click again on the small icon here and then I can select my uh, Wi-Fi. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to type in my password. OK, it says now it's connected uh, to my Wi-Fi and uh, I'm going to normally be able to connect via uh, VNC. OK, I'm uh, connected uh, via, uh, via VNC, so um, let's continue. So to get rid of this uh, message, uh, click on OK, go on the Raspberry Pi, preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration, and uh, we are going to change uh, the password here. So <clears throat> currently the password is uh, Raspberry Pi, but I'm going to put a new one. So I'm going to type in my password and click on OK. The password has been changed. OK, uh, so this is fine. Another trick, if you want to see your IP address uh, to be able to do like me, uh, to connect uh, using VNC Viewer, just put the mouse on the icon here and uh, you will see a pop-up uh, showing the, uh, your IP address. Okay, normally uh, OpenPlotter is uh, correctly installed. Let's have a look in, on, the ras on the Raspberry on the top. You've got the menu. You've got a new menu called Open Plotter, where you have a bunch of uh, things. As I uh, said in my previous uh, video, uh, Open Plotter is not one software, software, it's a group of software. And you can see here uh, OpenCPN, don't mix Open Plotter and OpenCPN and things like that. The settings, the engine, as I mentioned in the previous video, Signal K, and things like that. We will be adding more uh, things here, uh, but this will be done in the next video. I think this is it for today.